Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my pickup series and today we're going to be going over my pickups for June of 2022. Hey guys, uh, just to let you know, for anyone who doesn't already know, I'm not really supposed to be buying video games in the year of 2022. And this is kind of a sales challenge thing, but there are rules. There are rules. So, rule one, if it was Christmas money given to me in 2021, specifically for buying gifts for myself or video games or anything like that, doesn't count. Rule number two, if I trade away stuff that I had for trade bait to get new video games, that doesn't count. Rule number three, if I pre-ordered it in 2021 and it comes out in 2022, that doesn't count. So with all of the rules set out, this is my pickup video for June. Now, it's kind of odd that like I have a pickup video during a year that I'm not supposed to be getting video games or at least spending money on video games. But uh, we ran around on the 4th of this month and uh, just because my wife decided, hey, let's let's go out and let's go thrifting. And we ran around, we got a couple of household items that were going to make life easier. Um, you know, maybe a couple of magazine rack things, some stuff for my wife to take to her office, some stuff for me to, to have um, to make life easier in my home office or in my office at, at my job. Uh, but one of the places we went to was the Goodwill. And um, if like some of you might know me as a little bit of a movie buff. Uh, I did work for Blockbuster Video when I was in high school. And so I had a VHS collection. And then I moved on to DVDs and Blu-rays and 4K movies and stuff. But one of the medias that I would get like a little bit of, but I would never get rid of it, was Laserdisc. And that's what we found at the Goodwills. We found a bunch of Laserdiscs. Um, now, uh, most of these I only paid like $2 for. So here's the state of the art uh, computer animation, which is kind of like a demo disc. Uh, we have Stargate, it's a great movie. We have Speed, because it was there and $2. We have The Secret Garden, and actually this one is sealed. Um, sealed laser discs don't really go for that much money unless it's something ridiculous like one of the Star Wars movies. Um, the Quick and the Dead. We have Nell, which is another pretty good movie. Um, here's one I never knew of beforehand was Moscow on the Hudson. Now this movie I owned before we went to Goodwill. I bought that movie when I actually had got my laser disc player. We have Lawrence of Arabia. We have one of the fantasy elves, Lady Hawk. And yes, I wish I could find Legend and uh, Labyrinth on Laserdisc as well. We have La Femme Nikita. We have Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. This is my favorite Indiana Jones movie and uh, when I was actually going through and looking through all of the laser discs, I got really excited and shouted to my wife to come over and like look, and and the excitement attracted what I call a vulture. The vulture basically comes in and starts like is a person who comes in and starts swooping around and like looking at everything that you're looking at because you're excited. And the vulture got to the Indiana Jones movie before I did. And he picked it up and he carried it around with him and all this stuff. And I was actually kind of upset because I really wanted that copy of, uh, uh, I really wanted that laser disc. And thankfully the guy set it back down. My wife ran over and snatched it back up and get handed it to me. Um, at Hook, it's another great movie. Oh, and goodness, like it just, it opens up like a vinyl album and there there are two discs in here and i think they're both double-sided uh now moving on we have 
Hoffa with Jack Nicholson. Hamburger Hill. Oof, that glare is awful. And yes, I'm from the South, so I had to get fried green tomatoes. Now this one's a huge box set. Like, I mean, just look at how thick that is. But it's Dr. Zhivago. Um, it is uh, a, a pretty popular old old movie, kind of a classic. There's mainly just discs in here. Um, I mean, there's there's like this pamphlet that that shows like all the chapters and stuff. But it's it's quite a few discs. It's like one, two, three, four five discs in this set, in this box set. Um, but it's, I think it's just one movie. I'm pretty sure it's just one movie. It just has like a, a bunch of extras, but I picked that up. Um, and then Cutthroat Island. So a lot of these titles, I was very surprised to see that they were released on Laserdisc. We have Chaplin. There's another one that I had owned previously, which was Champions. I bought that one with my Laserdisc player way back in the day. And Brazil. And then one of the last ones that I bought with the Laserdisc player was All the Right Moves with Tom Cruise. Um, I'm really happy with all of these. Uh, I need to work on my Laserdisc player. It's got a little bit of noise on the line, which means that I need to replace the capacitors. They're wearing out. It's not really that big of a deal, especially since it's a early 80s PCB, which means that uh, there's lots of space to do work. Uh, but I just got to pull it apart, replace all the capacitors, reduce all of the noise on the video line and the audio lines, and I'll be back in business on the laser discs. Now, I'm going to skip to the last place we visited, which was Second and Charles. Uh, we went there and we were just shopping around looking for actual future presents for uh, Christmas and stuff like that for family members, trying to get some ideas for ourselves to ask for things and stuff like that. And I spotted a good little collection of like eight Vita games. Now, half of them I already had or I wasn't even interested in. Uh, and I, and like I said, during my challenge, I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding at all, like some people, Scott. Uh, <laughs> but I decided that I wanted some Vita games, and I picked out these four. And my hands were shaking when I was like holding them, and my wife noticed. So she come along and snatched them right out of my hand and went up to the counter and bought them. And she just handed them to me and she was like, here you go, these are a gift. And like, my wife knows me. She knows when I get excited enough uh, that my hands will shake and, and things like that. And it, it's, it's just the way that I am. But the first game you've probably already seen, which is the uh, Rayman Legends game. Um, great game. I kind of wish it was compatible with the PlayStation TV, but I also know why not, because it uses the touch screen. Uh, this next game is Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, I'm usually not that much of a Need for Speed fan, but this has gotten like a lot of good press from other people on YouTube saying that this is like a really good racing game on the Vita. This one I had to have. It's a little big planet on the PlayStation Vita. And this, I wanted this game because I really enjoyed little big planet on the PS3. And I've, I've been basically getting all of the little big planets. I think there might be one that I'm missing and I'll have to go through my collection and actually look for it and see which one it is. Um, and then Hot Shots Golf World Invitation. I, I, I picked this one up as well, just because uh, it's gotten a lot of really good reviews from a lot of people who play Vita games, and I'm, I'm one of them. I'm just, I'm on the tail end of things. I, I was a late adopter. Uh, I 
picked up my Vita in like 2016, I think. I actually, I didn't even pick up a Vita. I picked up a PS TV in a trade uh, with uh, my good friend Kip, Captain Natron. But um, you know, yeah, she she just walked up and just grabbed them out of my hand and paid for them. Now let's go back to the middle of the trip on the fourth. We went to a pawn shop and I walked in and I saw one of my old roommates. And so we started talking back and forth uh, about the old days of like when we were rooming together and, and renting houses and renting apartments together, that type of stuff. And I introduced my wife because he had never met him, met her before. And, um, you know, his name is Steve. And I was like looking at something behind Steve up on on the top of the shelf in this pawn shop that he was working at. I was like, kind of looked at it. I was like, that's... That, that can't be what I think it is. And uh, Steve kind of like chuckled and he pulled it down and because he knows me and he set it down in front of me. He's like, it's like, yeah, that that is exactly what you think it is. And I was just staring at it and I, I must have gone pale or my hands must have started shaking or something because the next thing that happens is my wife looks me dead in the face and goes, do you want it? And I kind of like looked at it and I looked at her and I was like, yeah, but we shouldn't get it because we need to be doing other things. Well, all she heard was, yeah, she tuned out the rest of my explanation of what I was saying, because the next thing I know, she's pulled her car, her bank card out and says, okay, we're taking this home. And I think that some of you may have already figured this out, but let me go ahead and get over here and get it. Oh, this thing's big and heavy. Yes, she got me a PlayStation 5. She grabbed it up, she, she paid for it, and she looked at me and said, happy anniversary and Merry Christmas. And I said, okay. <laughs> because <laughs> why wouldn't you say okay to, to something like that but not only did she get me a PlayStation 5 she got me a PlayStation 5 with two controllers and they're in great shape I've used the testing website to test them uh, they don't drift they don't have any issues uh, they hold a charge just perfectly fine um, and yeah that's that was the trip. That was my pickup video for this month. Um, I didn't spend any money on video games. I did spend a little bit of money on, on uh, I think it was like $45 with tax and all on my laser discs. Uh, but those aren't video games, so I'm, I'm covered. And they were super cheap. They were $2 a piece. But I got to grow my laser disc collection and I got to grow my Vita collection. Um, and my wife bought them for me. And then I got to get a new system. And I love my wife. And I mean, guys, it's it's the 19th. I've been trying to make this video, but I've been like a little kid, like not even believing that it's real. Uh, like the first two nights, I kept on waking back up and going back downstairs into the game room and looking at it to see if it was actually there or if it was a dream. <laughs> and it was... And it's, it's real. It's real. I, I have a PlayStation 5. Um, and I have a wonderful wife that understands me and loves me. And, I mean, she loves me enough to buy me a PlayStation 5. And I just... I don't know. Um, guys, what did you guys get this month? Tell me down in the comments. Um, you know... Did I still stick with my rules and stuff? And am I still like going through 2022 without spending any any of my money on on video games? Um, let me know in the comments below. Uh, you know, just you know, let's let's talk about everything. But I mean, yeah, I'm I'm still floored by like how much my wife loves me and just. Uh, getting getting reminders like that you know it's like 
I, I honestly didn't expect to get a PlayStation 5 until three years from now, to be honest. And here it is, 2022, the year that I'm not spending any of my money on video games, and I get a PlayStation 5. But um, that, that's it, guys. I'm going to stop rambling and, and, and stuff. But uh, yeah, just let me know what you got this month down in the comments below or make a reply video or something um but you know take care guys have a great year and i will see you guys next time well that's it for this episode of mondane designs i'm your host mondane and i hope you enjoyed this episode as much as i enjoyed making it i have videos on the first and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. as always please like comment and subscribe and have a wonderful day